Hey you guys, how are you going? Today we're going to be using a bit of electronics, a bit of Arduino, and a bit of 3D printing to put together a macro pad. Sorry I'm sounding a bit uh, raspy, had a cold for the past couple of weeks, but I'm getting there. So then the downside in upgrading from my old Logitech keyboard to my new one is the lack of any macro keys. And this is something I wanted to remedy with a build. So it all starts with a design. I wanted to have nine buttons that I could program. To achieve this, I'll be using an Arduino Pro Micro, so I put together this design in Fusion 360 that accommodates the Pro Micro and buttons, printed it out, check for fit, and got my switches. Now, I was planning to incorporate RGB LEDs into these switches, however, they don't fit the standard 5mm LEDs, so that's a bit of a bummer. Regardless, I've got clear keycaps which I'm going to label so I don't have to memorize key bindings. That's the main aim of this task. While I can use numpad keys, any other keys, I'm going to set up this keypad to have key binds that will not conflict with any other key presses from my PC and therefore be entirely unique. Um, they'll also due to the layout, have a more uniquely tactile feel and thus be easier to identify without needing to take my headset off when I'm playing VR, for example. So this build is really simple. There's really no dependencies beyond the Arduino, the switches and some wire and solder. All I'm going to do is bus one side of all the switches together, which will be ground, and then connect each of these switches high side to a GPIO on the Arduino. So not being able to fit RGB LEDs to each key switch as I'd planned, I fell back to a singular array of LEDs in an effort to try and match my keyboard. Um, the hope being that the RGB LEDs will shine through the PETG 3D print, create some nice RGB patterns and also backlight the labelled keys. This is just a WS2812 uh, 4x4 matrix. Only requires power, ground, and one wire for data. I was a bit concerned going anything larger might draw too much power from a USB port, but it turns out in the end it doesn't really draw much power unless you're illuminating all RGBs at full brightness simultaneously. So then it's just a matter of fitting everything together after doing a final check of the electronics. And putting on some non-slip feet so it doesn't move around my desk. So I used an online tool to create some icons and printed them out onto decal paper. This decal paper requires you apply an acrylic clear coat to seal in the printer ink. So if I did this again, I would definitely change a few things. The decals are still not very clear um, because of the translucency. It may be better to have used real legendable keycaps. They have a perimeter that's effectively opaque rather than a 100% translucent keycap. Therefore, you'd only have backlight illumination coming th through the label effectively. So my Arduino code just builds on the XY matrix example from the fast LED library. Um, I've then added in some extra code 
obviously for the key switches and to be able to turn on and off the backlight. So then it's just a matter of, in my case, setting up the keybinds in OBS so that I can use it on my stream to change scenes and start and stop recording. So that's all there is to it. The code will be attached, the 3D print will be attached, the parts I use will be attached all to the video description. I don't think this cost me more than 30 bucks in parts. Key switches and Arduino, not expensive parts. And as you can see, we're only using 160 milliamps, which is well within the 500 milliamp limit of the USB port specifications. So if you want a simple, cheap and bespoke macro pad, this is certainly one way to go about making one. Thanks for joining me for today's build. If you enjoyed, give it a like and chuck us a sub. Cheers. Catch you later.